thanks to all my subscribers, I recently hit 1,000 subs. To celebrate, let's make a space scene. To start, we need some textures. I googled Earth textures and found a website called Solar System Scope and downloaded these textures. We want to get the Earth Day map, Earth Night map, Earth Clouds, Earth Normal map, Earth Specular map, the stars in Milky Way, and the Moon map. Next, let's create a new empty level. Then go to Edit, Plugins, and let's enable the Modeling Tools Editor mode. Restart your machine if you need. After that, I'm going to create a Planets folder under the Content Directory and put a Earth and Moon folder in that. Then I'm going to copy the textures I downloaded into those files using File Explorer. Click Import and wait for those files to transfer. If you see any messages about converting from normal mats, etc., just accept that and continue. Then we're going to click on the modeling tools and create a sphere. Make the radius 1 million, the latitude and longitude slices 200 and ensure the pivot is centered. Click in the viewport to create the sphere. You won't see it, but it's there. It's just really big. Rename the sphere to Earth and increase the scale by 10. Make sure it's uniform. Change your camera speed to 8 and the scale setting to 128. Hold down your right mouse button and zoom out until you can see the sphere. Duplicate the Earth sphere and rename it to something like Earth underscore clouds and make it slightly bigger at 10.2 scale. Then do the same to the Earth clouds, but this time call it Earth underscore atmosphere. Copy the Earth sphere again and name it to something like moon and scale down it from 10 to 2 and position it somewhere where a moon would be positioned. And for the final time, copy the Earth again, uh, this time just call it stars. In the Earth folder, let's create a new material and call it something along the lines of M underscore Earth. Uh, and once you've done that, you can jump into it and open it. Drag in all the Earth textures except for the cloud one and rearrange them to make it a bit easier to see. Connect the specular map to the specular node. Connect the day map to the base color. Create a constant for the roughness and connect that to the roughness node and connect the normal map to the normal node. We're going to create some dynamic lighting. For this, we need to do some calculations. So to start, let's add in a sky atmosphere light direction node, add a vertex normal WS node, add a dot node and connect them up. Create another concert and set it to a negative one. Then set a multiply node and connect the dot node and the constant to that. Add in a power node and connect the multiply to the base. Create another multiply and connect the power to the B node. Then create another power node, connect the night map to the base and the power node to the multiply node. Connect the multiply node to the emission node. Add in a directional light. Make sure the sun atmosphere light tick box is checked and change the intensity down to something like one or two. And once you've done that, use Control L and your mouse to get some pleasing lighting. Hide all the spheres except for the earth one and then drag the earth material onto that sphere. Rotate the earth to get a good side of it and you can fully see the dynamic night map being used at the same time. You can also unhide the moon at this stage. Under the earth folder, create another material and call it something like M underscroll clouds and open it up. Also open up the M underscroll earth material and copy over the set of nodes. Then drag in the cloud texture and connect it to the multiply node. Click on the output node and make the blend mode translucent and make sure two-sided is ticked. Connect the multiply to the opacity node. Add in a vector parameter node and change the color to white and connect that to the emissive color node. Save the texture and minimize. Unhide the earth cloud sphere and drag and drop the cloud texture onto that sphere. Rotate it to get a nice position of the clouds to make it look good. Copy the cloud material and call it M underscore atmosphere. Open up the material and delete all the nodes except for the multiply and parameter node. Create a Fresnel node, 
and then create a power node, connect those two up and connect that to the multiplier node. Connect the vector parameter node to the multiplier node. Unhide the atmosphere sphere and drag over the material onto that sphere. Rearrange your window so you can see the vector parameter node and change the color. I'm using a blue, but use whatever you like. Save and close. Our Earth is now done. We can move on to the moon. Jump over to the moon folder and create a new material. Call it M underscore moon. Open it up and start by copying over the texture into that blueprint. Connect the node to the base color and create a constant for the roughness. Make it one and connect it up. Save and close that. You can then drag the material onto the moon sphere. Rotate that sphere to get a nice picture of the moon. For the stars, create another material, call it M underscore stars and open it up. Select the output node and change the blend mode to translucent and make sure two-sided is checked. Drag in the texture for the stars and create a multiply node. And connect those two up and create a constant and set this down to 0.2. This will reduce the brightness. Connect the multiply node to an add node and connect the add node to a sky atmosphere light disk luminance node. Then connect the add node to the emission. Save and close that material. Select the star sphere and scale it to a thousand. Then apply your star material to the star sphere. You'll then see the stars populate all around and you can rotate it just like all the other spheres. Then you're done. You can then use Control L and your mouse to control the dynamic lighting and see what the Earth looks like in the shadow of the sun. You can also fly around and see what it looks like at particular angles and enjoy the scenery. So like always, please like, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Until next time guys.